Hey guys, what's going on today? This is Dal Su with Dal Su Plays, and just like the postman who brings you mail every day, I'm bringing you Banished. That's that's right. I compared myself to someone who actually does something important. But Banished is important in its own way, and uh, it's a leisure activity, and we can't discount the importance of proper leisure. We got this dock working now, which is pretty nice. Nobody's stranded out here. I told you what happened to me last time. We got a fisherman living in this little shack. We can upgrade it to a tiny house very cheaply. I don't see why we wouldn't do that. I didn't know that they had their own upgrade chain. That's pretty cool. We'll also go ahead and upgrade this one to a stone house. And I'm going to stick a few more upgrades in here and here. All right, good deal. So we have seven laborers and three builders. That's not too bad. There are some things we could do with those people. And if we can manage to get to our food cap, which is at 6,000, we'll be able to send all these people to go cut. Although, it really would make more sense to have them find iron, like down here. Because we are now producing real iron from iron ore, and we're not producing any iron ore. So what that means is we will run out of iron ore before too long. Let's just glance real quickly at everything, make sure it's working. Okay, so this has coke fuel. We still have a supply. We bought that from a merchant. We're not producing coke fuel ourselves. Uh, so we're now at zero, so we're probably going to have to switch that foundry back to our firewood before very long. Pretty happy sitting at nine laborers, so let's see. What, what are we going to do? A larger sheep field would be really nice. A larger sheep pasture, rather. Um... That would be that would be nice. We could do that down here. We have plenty of space down here to do stuff with. Uh, feeling kind of I'm kind of hesitating on things here. I'm not sure which direction to go at this point. I could use an iron mine def definitely. But I think I think a bit, a larger sheep field is going to produce more wool. Wool is a trade resource as well as being what we use for the tailor. Let's take a look at what we do have that we might be able to trade away. Because we're not getting the trades that we really want here. Hmm. I don't see anything that would be really good for trade. Uh, we have some iron tools finally. So our rough tools will, I guess, just sit there. So we might as well trade them away as well. Let's tell, let's tell you go out and get some rough tools. We already have uh, 40. We definitely use more. And where are they? <clears throat> go ahead and get 140. If you can. Just get rid of them all and we'll just use the new iron tools, the new and improved iron tools that we've got. That would be great. Looks like those houses got upgraded pretty quickly. We'll have four homeless people. <laughs> How about a barn up here? I mean, it would make sense for them to be able to deposit their fish in a barn. Hmm. We may do that. This barn just has plenty of space. We want to trade away those that leather too, I suppose. Why don't we why don't we go out and get some leather guys? A hundred leather. That might be worth a lot. Leather might be worth a lot. Kinda of worked the trade system a bit more this playthrough than I did last playthrough. We are out of coke fuel. We're gonna switch to firewood. For now we have a lot of it, so it's not a big deal. Let's take a look at what we've got. Sand is a useful commodity. Rug and copper pipe, um not really. And I can get sand myself so easily. I don't think I'm going to be asking for any of that. I would take some bricks or some building supplies, though. And what else would I take? Um, homewares, fancy housewares, furniture. I'd probably take any of that that you've got. All components I'd probably take. I'd probably be willing to take some lamp oil as well. Alright, so with that, I'll dismiss you. And you. Do what you've got. 
chestnuts, eggplant, chili. Would love some eggplant seeds. And I'm pretty sure I can actually afford them. Yes, it looks like we're going to be able to afford them. They're only 3,000. So we'll use our firewood because it's, it's a very worthwhile commodity at 4. Leather is worth 10. Jesus. Yeah, we need to be trading our leather, boys. Uh, 6. Um, it's worth 3. So 10 is worth 300. I mean, 100 is worth 300. 75, maybe? Close. All right, the herbs are worth four, so we'll do four of them. Five of them. Dope. Sorry, I don't math well. Let's trade for that one eggplant seed. And I'm going to get us started with some fields, some eggplant fields. And I'm thinking just right here would be fine. Are we producing some pecans yet? We are, very few, but we are. Entry roads. Take me home. Okay, so right here is going to be a good spot. And probably do another one right here next to it, so let's do that. Standard crop, 11 by 11. <clears throat> let's get it where it's nice and snug in there. That's looking good. <coughs> Excuse me. 11 by 11 there as well. That one will take a little clearing. And we'll have some eggplants going. How about that? This guy stole his his farmer. Should put him back in there, huh? No? Five. There we go. Okie doke, so just one more farmer. We've got plenty of labor, and that should help us hit our cap fairly, fairly easily. And then we can use those new laborers, or the old laborers, or the recently made idle food preparers or growers to do all kinds of other things that we need them to do. Yeah, see what's going on here with my farmers. We need eight, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually need nine. This is what's going on. It tries to put three workers in there. So. One, two, we need nine, right? Correct? Iron is low. Hmm. We'll have to deal with that. One, two, three, so these don't count. We got six. Yep, one, one, one. Okay. So that should be all right with the world. And then these are actually uh, called herdsmen, something else. Now, the reserve of iron is low. So there's two ways we could go about this. We could try to ooh, increase that cap right away. We could uh, try to just use the people we have to scalp some iron from the countryside, which I think will be the first thing we do. But then we're just going to end up, after that, just building a mine somewhere. We have the space. We might as well do it. This is iron. Okay. More up there. You random things here and there. There's a nice little deposit. I don't see any here, but this is all stone that could be taken. Might as well take that while we're while we're doing this. Alright, good deal. So you guys get out and do that and then we're gonna consider maybe a iron mine. That's gonna be under these resources. Just a good old-fashioned iron mine. This is the one that needs a hill, isn't it? That one needs a hill, but I don't think we need a hill for iron ore and coal. Yeah, we don't need a hill for this one. This one just goes flat on the ground. I like the idea of having it just right smack next to my quarry. A little too close to the quarry there. All right, right there. Good deal. We'll have to uh, shift some workers into there as well. And he'll provide plenty of iron ore for the foundry to work into proper iron. Meanwhile, we should have pretty good tools at this point. 
You're not producing quite enough clothes. I don't know why everyone produces cucumbers. <laughs> I guess it's because maybe the cucumber field is close by and maybe some seeds wafted over into their front yard. I don't know. 18 wool coats a season is probably enough for us right now. If we just kind of keep up, keep up the good work there. We'll eventually want to switch to like linen or cloth. Cloth is for uh, cotton, so we just need some cotton seeds, and then we'll plant those. But that's not that's not going to come for a while. Probably not. I don't know. Now that we've got leather, no well, hasn't actually picked up any yet, which is weird because I told him to. Didn't I? I told him I wanted a hundred leather. And I know we've got some leather, so I don't know why he's not picking that up. Perhaps he's just too busy. There's only one guy there. It should be more. I'm gonna go pick up some leather, huh? He's just getting firewood now. There's just too much stuff for him to do, I think. Because we just traded away a bunch of firewood that they've got to replace. But that's fine. How are we doing on lumber, by the way? Because I'm using it a lot, but we haven't really been making it. Okay, we got plenty. Uh, I am noticing here that our health has drooped a little bit, which is weird because we just bought that healing oil or whatever you call it. We still have 31 healing oils left. I wonder why their health is uh, going down. There's not really clear information about that as far as I can find, but... Hey guys, sorry about that. We had a little bit of an issue with some sound going on. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't me, it was my neighbors putting something on the wall, apparently. So, I had uh, upgraded these two houses, and that's still being worked on. I'd like a few more houses, but I've got ten laborers right now. I don't know. I, I think probably what we'll do is keep working out here. And I might put a little tiny market with some houses around it out here so that they can help. This is going to be largely just an agricultural area. I also might do an apiary and stuff up here. This is going to be kind of used for different food production and manufacturing buildings. And then this is going to be mostly houses to the south. And eventually we'll decide that we want to knock these buildings down and continue building our city out this way. And these guys will go live over here somewhere. So that's the plan currently. And we just gotta make it happen. So first thing I think is a larger sheep pen. Because I would like more wool. And also sheep provide a lot of meat. I don't know how much these are providing, but not yet, because they're at six out of six. So how do we wanna do this? Let's see. I could go Kind of like, maybe, let's double 11 by 11, would be 22 by 22. That's going to be a big field though. That's too big, isn't it? We'll just make it double the size. We need to get rid of this road first though. There's a little road sticking out here. We'll have to get that knocked down. And then we'll tell him, out like that. And you go out like this. And that should look pretty good. Starting to get out of range of the houses, but they'll still be able to work the patties from there. I might do a little four, four or five houses in here with a market. It's kind of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> yeah, this is all reserved for housing. This side too, a little bit. And yeah, these are going to have to go eventually. Won't be for a while, though. Like our health had just dropped temporarily. Okay, our mine is done, and we've got a trader arriving. Let's deal with the trader first. He's more important. At least at this juncture. Plum, pepper, watermelon, cucumber, sugarcane. Eh, I don't want any of that stuff. I would definitely like cotton seeds, I think, now. Please give me those when you can. Go ahead and dismiss him. Still haven't picked up any leather. Hmm. 
I assume she will soon, but yeah, there we go. There's 50 leather for us. So I didn't realize that leather's worth 10. So that's pretty awesome. Stone quarry is getting a little bit low. We might need to start our apiary soon. This guy also requires candles. Okay, so we're producing straight up iron ore out of here. And it can take up to three people. I will go ahead and say... Well, first let's cap this one. Soft capped it. You can't go above 15. No, you can. You can go all the way to 22 on that. I didn't know that. Okay. We're going to cap it at 5. And then we're going to raise the total number by 3. That is how that works. I think I finally figured it out after 80 episodes. <laughs> how to do this properly. Still confusing, but... Anyway, we'll have some iron ore produced, and the foundry will promptly be turning it into proper iron that will go to our blacksmith and be made into good tools. Sorry, sometimes it helps to kind of go through these build processes or these production chains in your own head so that, you know, you make sure everything's running smoothly and efficiently as possible. Now... We've got this house actually upgraded, this little tiny house. It's kind of nice. And we want to go ahead and up upgrade this one. No, we've already got this one upgraded. Stone house, okay. So we probably just want to focus on getting the rest of these houses to the next level. We'll do four at a time. That does leave quite a few people homeless, but... Can't be helped, sorry. And we were going to do a pasture over here, we just haven't done it yet. Let's see. Keep getting distracted. Rum. We will want a nice pub at some point. Probably be somewhere situated like in here. We could go ahead and kind of set that up if we wanted to. Let's see what it would cost. That's going to be under luxuries. Yeah. So you can do a small tavern. Just requires lumber. A normal sized tavern. I think that's building materials. Or an inn and garden which requires a building material. Workers not required. Huh. That's interesting. So there's no difference really, apparently. Pub Kitchen will take a range of ordinary foods, prepare them to a variety of luxury meals popular at taverns. Okay. Well, we could just do a small tavern, but it might be better off we might be better off waiting until we can do the full inn and garden. That's gonna take up a lot of space. But it's a very important building. It keeps people happy. We'll consider that as we move forward. The reserve of iron is always low. And what we were gonna do to probably finish off this episode, go ahead and do a fenceless pasture right here. It's going to be double the size. I want it to be 11 wide, just like the others. It's actually going to be slightly larger than that. And we're going to put probably one of these creatures in here. I'm not sure which one yet. We'll wait until it gets done. Anyways, we're about out of time. Sorry for the interruption in the middle of this episode. But, uh, you know, I don't I don't have a soundproof room yet, unfortunately. If you'd like to send me tons of money, well, you can't even do that yet because I don't have Patreon set up. I was thinking I wouldn't do that until I have, you know, more like a couple thousand subscribers. Uh, anyway, your comments are just as good as gold and bullion. So go ahead and leave me some, some comments, like and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. I will see you on the next episode. Thanks. Bye.